Yo, 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 what's up, man? This is Border Travel Trucker, man. Hey, real quick, man. The video you about to watch in today's episode, man, is about some serious situations going on in trucking. We do not make a lot of the uh, recent uh, events that have taken place, man, with the whole Ponzi scheme being exposed at Royal Bangle Logistics and the issues going on with Yellow Trucking, man. As you watch today's video, do understand, man, our prayers and thoughts go out to those drivers that have been affected by the loss and effect in today's climate, man, the, the, the economy is taking a turn and a lot of stuff is showing their hand, man. So do not take anything out of context with what we're showing today. Also, later on, man, my boy, he was part of the Royal Bengal Logistics Ponzi scheme. He, he was affected by it, man. He had two trucks running with them, man. At a later date, probably sometime later on this week, we're going to do an interview uh, on another episode. So, hey, man, y'all check out this episode, man. And, Mel, I got some updates for y'all, man. Peace. All right, YouTube, she's over here eating sushi. This stuff looks like it's still alive. Like it's just, not alive. It just killed the fish. My daughter's crazy. Look, look at this. She they just, clean it. And then take it. Ugh. What is wrong with her, guys? She's going to eat it. Ugh. Ugh. Look at it. It's still moving. YouTube, man, got me and my son some breakfast, man. Oh boy, I'm hurting this morning, man. I don't know what it is, man. It's about about six o'clock now. We in Grand Bay, I side of Mobile. We're gonna run a load uh, back, back to goddamn Baton Rouge, and then we gonna go from there. So let me put this food down to pump this gas. And why that's pumping, man. Hey, shout out to my people at Wholesome and Mobile, man. They gave me some free shirts. So, check them out, man. Best cement company in the South. Hey, man, real quick, man. Yesterday was a crazy day, man. I had the flat tires you can see on yesterday's video. Um, You know, we just got the load off, got the tire fixed, and went back home, man. I said, I'm going to try again today, man. So, we going uh, back to Baton Rouge. We ended up getting a load last minute yesterday going to somewhere some construction company uh via premier concrete hey man real quick man uh while i got time i'll be pumping gas man did anybody see that asian my episode yesterday with the company shutting down 148 people losing their job or 140 people having to park their vehicles yesterday man uh royal bangle out of south florida out of broward county man where i'm from where i'm from palm beach Man, they shut their doors the past few weeks. The SEC Trade Commission and the FBI arrested the owner and CEO, some dude named Singh or whatever. Apparently, he had a Ponzi scheme, one of the biggest ones since Enron and Madoff retirement uh, scheme. He stole over $100 million over the past few years from investors who were buying trucks or leasing their trucks to him, and he was giving them a kickback as far as like a <coughs> their cut of the profits the whole time. He's fundraising the money and paying the initial investors off of money that he keep raising. He's not really making that much money off the truckloads, man. So I actually got a good friend. I'm not going to say his name for obvious reasons. Uh, from Palm Beach, man. He was trying to get me to get into that little ownership group where you buy the truck and send it over there to Royal Bangal. He got got, man. The feds seized all the vehicles. They had to park all the vehicles off the road. They took the insurance off effective immediately. 12 FBI went and picked up the dude from the office in Broward County the other day. And now everything has been frozen. So now my, I talked to my boy last night. I don't know what they're going to do, man. I've never seen nothing like this. 
As soon as I text him, if you could look right here, look on the right side of him, this is what he said. I said, hey, man, what's the name of that company you leased on to? He said, yeah, man, we got God. I say, no. So, yeah, man, the trucking industry is in, a, is in a limbo right now. I don't know what's going on, man. But if you know, if you know like I know, don't lease on to no company that you don't know ain't no company. You know, I hate to say it, but Prime Inc. might be the only legit leased on company carriers right now. And Prime sucks. Shout out to Prime, though. They still suck. So let's finish this fuel and get back rolling. to premier concrete sweating hot out here we uh finna get unloaded then we're gonna head back to the plant and we're gonna get a church point louisiana load so while we doing that i'm gonna do my paperwork so i can build this and get paid let's get back rolling in a little bit all right we're about eight miles from 55 guys i like riding through these little towns of louisiana it's like they call it old times man let's keep on pushing Go through Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, yeah. All right, we parked up for the day. Put a little gym time before dinner. All right, YouTube, we're back in the truck, man. We got the load delivered in Baton Rouge. Now we got another load out of Alabama. Going back to Church Point, Louisiana, just northwest of Lake Charles. Hey, real quick, man. You seen what we did today. You heard what I was talking about earlier, man. We got one more big topic to talk about before we shut it down for the night. The yellow trucking, man. They're having a big old back and forth riff right now between their CEO and the president of the Teamsters Union, man. If you don't know, the yellow trucking is on the verge of going out of business. Cold turkey overnight. They said they're going to be out of money by July 1st. And them and the Teamsters cannot come to an agreement. They have 9,100 employees, guys. Yes, 9,000 employees that are gonna be without a job and or lose a lot of their benefits. Um, what's happening right now is the Teamsters are arguing that uh, Yellow Trucking got a $700 million bailout during COVID that they mismanaged and misappropriated funds. The CEO paid himself $1.2 million last year and whatever the prior to that. The CEO came out from Yellow Trucking with a public service announcement. If you go on YouTube and type in Yellow Trucking CEO speech, he's pretty much telling everybody openly they're suing the Teamsters Union for $179 million. I guess that's the disparity and the difference in budgeting that they're in, that they're at right now, the impasse, and the Teamsters are refusing to meet. They're saying, hey man, you guys been mismanaged money. We didn't get y'all $700 million before. We ain't giving y'all no more money, man. The CEO of Yellow Trucking is saying, hey, I can't let the company fall down. I got to go down swinging. I'm suing y'all for $179 million. All these people got lives and careers, which we're trying to get two pay raises this year to keep up with the quality of life. And the team's just union is not budging. So if you check out at the end of this video, man, I'm going to I'm gonna patch in the, uh, the, the uh, speech from the Yellow Trucking CEO and the Teamsters Union president. Please watch to the end, man. I thank y'all for watching me on today's episode. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. We're going to drop another video tomorrow, man. I was just bring y'all up on current events today and what I know. And tomorrow's Wednesday, man. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Hey, watch this video, man. It's going to blow your mind. They really going back and forth. Big town corporations beefing. Yo. Aaron Hawkins, CEO of Yellow.
For nearly 100 years, the Yellow family of union and non-union truckers and dock workers has handled and delivered freight for hundreds of thousands of customers, large and small, coast to coast. Today, our 30,000 jobs, mostly union jobs, are in serious jeopardy because the leadership at the International Brotherhood of Teamsters refuses to come to the table to discuss the future of our employees. For the past eight months, we have worked in good faith to come to an agreement with the union to strengthen our employees' jobs and the future of our company. Yellow is just one of three major unionized companies remaining in the less than truckload business. Six other union companies have gone belly up in the last few decades, in large part because they couldn't compete with non-union carriers. Yellow is trying to stay in the game for our employees and customers. We're working to modernize our company to compete in a way that aligns with the union, but their leadership still refuses to meet. Surely, Teamsters leaders don't want their members, our employees, to lose their jobs. Our folks are good, hard-working people who want to earn a fair wage. At Yellow, we're raising wages twice this year. Our average driver earns more than $65,000 a year. Some make more than 100000 and we offer full family benefits, the best the industry has to offer. Our yellow employees live in every state across our nation, including here in Tennessee, where we employ nearly 1,500 people. We have filed a lawsuit against the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. We do not take this action lightly, but their leadership has left us with no choice. We are now fighting for the livelihood of our 30,000 employees. We will do all we can to save these American jobs. While union leaders come and go, Yellow has been around a century. Responsible leaders work together to create opportunities and maintain jobs. We are ready and willing to talk even as we remain firm in our resolve. We simply cannot let these jobs in this company go without taking a stand. Thank you. Sean O'Brien, General President of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. I'd like to address the mismanagement that continues to occur at Yellow and the lies being spread by the company. It is important for the teams to set the record straight and ensure our members have factual, accurate information. In March, our union decided not to agree to Yellow's proposed change of operations as it was written. Why did we do this? Because the company's operational changes would have decimated thousands of teams for jobs. We could not stand by idly while our members' livelihoods were at stake. The Teamsters were willing to work with Yellow to reopen the contract and negotiate in good faith, but Yellow was not interested in this. Management wanted to modify the terms and conditions of our existing agreement, which was unacceptable. Today, Yellow CEO Darren Do-Nothing Hawkins is trying to shift blame for his own shameful mismanagement onto the Teamsters Union. Our members know the score here. Teamsters th see through Do-Nothing Darren's self-centered motives. After all, Darren pocketed more than $1.2 million last year. This overwhelming waste was made worse after Yellow received and squandered $700 million in covert bailout money from the federal government. Executives are incapable of admitting that they simply screwed this company up. Yellow has been unable to effectively manage itself for a long time. Now the company says it will be out of money by August. But do not forget, Teamsters have already given back everything they possibly could to keep Yellow afloat. Since 2010, Yellow has received billions of dollars in wage and pension concessions from our hardworking members. Wages at Yellow are still far below standard and the pension contribution rate is barely over 25% of what it was in 2009. Yet the company enjoys a $5 per hour employee labor cost advantage over ABF. During contract negotiation in 2019, Yellow received many other flexibilities from Teamsters. But no matter how much our members give to this company, nothing seems to change. Our members have proven time and again that Yellow cannot be trusted. These executives have no idea what they are doing. They have driven this company into the ground. Our members have sacrificed so much already. They have sacrificed enough. Sometimes a bad job isn't worth it anymore. And Teamsters at Yellow have spoken loud and clear. We have standards, and our administration is determined to set that standard. More than 20,000 hardworking teams at Yellow have given back to help this company cycle after contract cycle. Every time Yellow executives come back with their hands out, begging regular workers to bail them out, Teamsters have been there to save the day. 
Teamsters have gone above and beyond to rescue this company. The sad reality today is there comes a point where you have to cut your losses. Yellow has shown that it doesn't deserve and cannot be expected to continue under its current structure. One yellow won't solve management problems. The Teamsters cannot and will not keep bailing out this company with concessions. We are not interested in helping its corporate executives save face. This is the direction we are taking. Between handouts from the government and constant concessions from our members, the time has come for the Teamsters to take a stand. Our union has paid, the government has paid, now it's time for Yellow to pay. It is not left that the Teamsters to save this company. We have given enough. What happens next is out of our control. We have to stand up for ourselves. We must protect good work. We must preserve the dignity of our labor. If we compromise that, these corrupt employers will have taken everything from us. Thank you very much.